Irish police think they have a motive in the killing of a 79-year-old man. His son is charged with the murder. News 2's Fallon Brown tells us what police are thinking and how they identified the son as the suspect. Fallon? Chris, police think the killer was financially motivated. John Brown's own son, Douglas, had been living with his father for the past few months after being let out of prison for attempted murder. Mr. Brown did not deserve that. This security camera under John Brown's carport at his home on Leonidas Street is what police say gave them the evidence needed to find his killer. The 79-year-old father and grandfather, known as a family man, was found shot in the back of the head in his kitchen Saturday morning, leaving the rest of that family heartbroken. I have no idea who would want to hurt him, you know? No idea. On Monday, Brown's daughter Stephanie couldn't fathom that the killer was someone so close. He knew a lot of people. You know, he was like that friendly neighborhood guy, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown was a good man. He was a good father. He always talked about his kids. Tuesday night, police arrested the victim's very own son, Douglas Brown, booked on an array of charges, including second-degree murder. Arrest documents say Douglas was caught on camera walking in and out of the home by himself at the time of John's murder. Came up to the police car and I said, Douglas, did you really do it? He said, no. Why would I kill my dad? Longtime neighbor Patricia Lee says Douglas Brown was living with his father. Fresh out of jail and on probation for an attempted murder in 2021 after he shot someone five times. He was on a 10 year sentence. Mr. Brown went there and got a lawyer. Mr. Brown did footwork to get his son out of prison. Lee says John Brown worked tirelessly to get Douglas back home, only to be repaid in the most sinister of ways. If he know his son was coming home to take his life, I think he has been not every day going to the lawyer's office going to do something for Douglas. And at 79 years old, John Brown was set to receive his master's degree from Southern University in December. He leaves behind a large family, including more than 30 grandchildren, according to his daughter. Chris.